All right, this is Tony over here at Big Dog Sporting, and today we have um, some finished BBK equal length small block four headers. Um, this customer came to us. He wanted a stage two ported um, Explorer GT40 manifold. He wanted his BBK shorty headers, um, the equal length, as you can see. He wanted those ported. And he also wanted his 70 millimeter throttle body right here. He wanted that ported. So we went on ahead, did the stage two on his Explorer GT40 manifold, uh, upper and lower, of course, with a throttle body tunnel and our custom matte black coating. Um, that turned out very, very well, picked up a significant amount of flow. Um, we did a before flow test on these headers, and now we're going to um, do the after flow test on this one. This one has already been done, so you can look at the numbers. The overall was 487 before. This is CFM at 28 inch calculate, and 658 after our port work on um, the individual tubes. We flow the individual tubes as well. Um, like you can see, 202 before, 234 after, and so on. Significant increase on these headers. Um, so we're going to flow this one um, to see what this one does on the overall. Also, on his 70 millimeter throttle body, even though we don't recommend a 70 millimeter on our stage two, because our stage two flows, um, it flows over a thousand forty CFM on the throttle body tunnel, but this one, you know, you got a good increase. So this one started off at eight hundred and forty nine CFM, and after our porting and modifications and adjusting, because like I said, these ninety five percent of these manifolds, I mean, sorry, um, throttle bodies are are just horribly adjusted. Um, we ended up with one thousand thirty two CFM, which is a great improvement. So. Um, he just sees some significant gains with these ported parts. And with these parts, you know, um, he didn't spend a lot of money compared to what he's going to gain as far as horsepower and torque. So we're going to go ahead, set the flow bench up, and we're going to do a, a overall on this tube, this header right here. So we have the flow bench set up and zeroed out. Like I said, this flow bench take the depression um, that's given and automatically calculates it to 28 inches. That allows us to give fast, repeatable um, um, flow results. And we can't we can't mess this flow up. Um, it doesn't have anything that we can manually adjust. It automatically zeroes out, self calibrates, and like I said, it takes the the depression. Um, whatever depression we give it, it takes it and calculates it to 28 inches. So that allow us to to really flow test a lot of parts. And like I said, everything that we test, um, everything we port gets a before and after flow test. Now, you know, since we're doing so many parts and we do them so fast, we just make it convenient by just taking a a a sharpie and putting the before and after on um, the parts. That way the customer, once they unbox their parts, they can clearly see a before and after. It doesn't have to be really fancy, no super fancy paperwork. This is all just, you know, basic, give you the results, give you the raw data, give you the real deal, and slap the parts on, adjust and tune, and go out there and kick ass. That's what we're all about. So we're gonna go ahead and flow this. So this one is looking like about 652, 654 overall. And that's these BBK equal length small block Ford Mustang shorty headers. This one, I believe this one was around 650 starting off, something like that. Um, I can't remember what the guys did. I didn't actually floor it before. The other guys did. So you're looking at 652, 654. Before, I mean, it was like four. 
I want to say 480, something like that. But it will be written down um, when we're all finished. So as you see, it's a pretty significant gain um, from a low dollar investment. And like I said, you know, most of these headers that are for the small block Ford Mustang, you know, they simply needs to be ported, modified and flowed. Uh, we have equipment that we specially made to um, go in there, expand the tubes where it's needed. A lot of the flow restrictions uh, in these headers is not just simply, you know, porting and grinding and enlarging. It's actually you have to get the angles right. You have to get the expansion rate right on the exit. Um, the collector where it bolts to the collector, you have to get that right. You know, and once you do, you'll feel the difference. You know, most of the time you can slap these on with no other modifications on a mass airflow sensor car. And it's going to read, you know, uh, efficiency, better efficiency on the intake um, due to the better scavenging effect and exhaust flow on the exhaust side. And that's going to create more torque and more horsepower, especially give you more RPM for your peaks. Uh, couple that with our stage two ported Explorer GT40 manifold and our porting on this customer's throttle body, as you see there, uh, that will wake up a small block Ford significantly because they suffer airflow on the intake and the exhaust. You know, a lot of people, they just don't realize this until they actually try our parts you know, put the ported, uh, the ported headers on, put the ported throttle bodies on, and and they feel the difference. So once again, here you go. Um, six, eight, yeah, six fifty two. And um, even though that's not what our stainless steel ported headers that we sell, those usually end up over seven hundred CFM. This is still a significant improvement over the stock equal length BBK headers. So once again, this is Big Dogs Port. Um, like, follow, subscribe, YouTube channel, and our Facebook page at Big Dogs Port. And see you guys at the track.